so this is undoubtedly the best time to be alive simply because we live at a time where science has contributed so much to the growth um, the development of human civilization there are so many things we enjoy today all thanks to science that we tend to take for granted so many of these things our ancestors were not privileged to enjoy them and so science has undoubtedly led to the growth and development of human civilization now as someone who is more or less an enthusiast of science and tech i was naturally drawn to read neil degrasse tyson's starry messenger cosmic perspectives and civilization so neil degrasse tyson is arguably the most famous scientist in the world and so naturally i was curious to hear what he had to say about civilization from the perspective of a scientist you know now he opens the book with the idea of the overview effect so the overview effect is like a godlike perspective on earth you know it is the kind of feeling astronauts have when they uh, fly to space and then they get to view the world from that perspective now based on the account of the very few people that have been privileged to fly to space they tend to have this radical change in perspective on the way they view the world you know as long as we remain in this world our perspective is so so limited extremely limited as long as we remain in this world we quibble and fight over very stupid things like race like religion like politics and things like that from that perspective Neil deGrasse Tyson writes on so many topics that we are confronted with today you know so for instance we have so much poverty in the world is it wise for us to still spend money on space exploration these are some of the basic questions you know uh, he tries to answer in this book perhaps my biggest takeaway from the book is his commentary on objective truth and subjective truth the concept of personal truth is very popular today and that really relates to your lived experience that relates to the religion you practice the culture you belong to the political party you identify with and things like that as long as we come from very various backgrounds and various perspectives in life we are always going to have the concept of personal truth we're always going to quibble over things that we don't agree with however science almost always is the mechanism we resort to at the end of the day to arrive at what is objectively true you know and he makes a case for science in this book so another takeaway from the book is the idea of rationalia so rationalia is a hypothetical country where science is the norm you know every decision every policy will be based on the weight of evidence it's it won't be based on sentiments you know rationality will, will be the norm he posted a tweet about that some years ago and it led to a flurry of reactions from people all across the world what do you think about the idea of a country where the rules, the laws, policies, everything is based on the weight of evidence? It's not based on sentiments, it's not based on emotions, it's not based on subjective reality, it's not based on my truth, your truth. It's really, really based on evidence. Uh, what do you think about that?